What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about elevation passes from the Gen Key Force promo. Everything you need to know about them, what they are, what they do, who to use them on, the best players to use them on, and how to get them. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So at this very moment, before part two of this promo comes out, which is gonna be on Thursday in a couple days here, there's only two of these that you can access. A third one is in the field pass, but there's not enough XP in order to earn that one. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if EA puts out some type of pack offer on Thursday when part two of this promo drops that includes elevation passes. We saw it with the Super Bowl promo and the light up tokens. You could earn two from the field pass for that promo, but they also put out pack offers that allowed you to get those in bundles. Uh, these kind of do something similar. The quickest way I can explain it, but we're going to go over it in detail, is that they unlock additional ability buckets on these cards and there's just a bunch of different routes that you can take so there's a low elevation pass which i'm assuming a lot of you have already earned at this point this one is at level seven of the ginky force field pass the high elevation pass if you scroll to the right here doesn't come till level 19 and right now i think there's only like 21 and a half thousand xp available so you can't actually unlock this one in this portion of the field pass but if you go over to your objectives, go down to sets and take a look where it says complete a Genki Force hero or champion set, you actually get a high elevation pass from completing this objective. So you get XP for the field pass, which you definitely want, but you also get an elevation pass. So I have a low one and a high one. As I said, these are going to unlock additional discounted ability buckets on certain players. Now the low elevation field pass is only going to work on the heroes for this promo, which are gonna be 93 overalls. The good news when it comes to that is if you take a look, and I can't find it here, uh, if you take a look, level 10, you get one of those heroes for free. So we already put out a video a couple days ago going over the best cards to take from this pack. We're going to link that video down below in the comment section as a pinned comment. In that video, I said it wouldn't be a bad idea to hang on to the pack because the part one players aren't amazing. There's none that really blew me away. And this pack will likely update with the new cards in it after Thursday's part two promo comes out. So if you've earned this pack and you haven't opened it up, again, it's not a bad idea to hang on to it. If you already open it up, it's not the end of the road because at level 20, you get a second free 93 overall BND hero card from this promo. And this one will likely be updated with the part two players, seeing that you can't earn it right now since you need to get to 32,000 XP. There's just not enough XP available. So those 93s are the cards that you're gonna use the low elevation pass on, and you only got one of them for now. Of course, you can always buy these 93s as you want. I just wanted to point out that you can get a couple free. When it comes to the 96s and 97s, so the 96s are champions, 97s are LTDs. That's where you're going to use this high elevation pass. And again, at this point, you get one from completing that objective. You get one from this field pass reward. So you could potentially get two, assuming that EA doesn't put out pack offers, including these. But again, I think they will. Now, to get those 96 or 97 overall cards, they're roughly about 500,000 coins for the 96s. The 97 LTDs vary in price. Some of them are over a million, some are under a million. But the good thing about this promo is that between the house rules rewards and the field pass rewards you're going to earn stars here and if you take a look level 14 12 17 21 you're getting these star rewards you can spend these in the store and you can basically get two free 96 overalls from this promo don't 100 quote me on this i actually broke down the math in a different video that will link down below in the comment section as a pinned comment on how to get these 96 overall cards for free but i think there was like 580 stars available to earn in the field pass the solo challenges if you play through those for this promo they're going to give you xp for that field pass but also every solo that you beat it's not a ton but you get five stars and then also in house rules which is a really quick game mode i highly recommend playing it uh, every win that you get gives you 15 stars so you can earn as many as you want assuming you can win games in this game mode and you have an additional eight days uh, a little bit over a week here to continue to play that so really the sky's the limit it's up to you on how many stars you actually want to earn and if you have the time to do so now as far as spending those stars if you go to the store and go to the stars offer section you can get 196 overall bnd champion for 700 stars which is super obtainable between winning a couple house rules games and maxing out the field pass on thursday if you want to go above and beyond that for 1875 stars you can get a second free 96 overall champion and for this one it's 
it's non BND. So you can turn it into coin. Now, if you have 700 stars or 19K, 1.9K stars right now, it's probably not a bad idea again to wait till Thursday. We're only about a day and a half away from us getting new cards and likely new 96 overall champions. And you'll have your choice of all of those between the part one and the part two players. And one more time, these are the cards that you're going to use the high elevation passes on. You can also use them on LTDs, but those cards are really, really expensive. Another thing I wouldn't be surprised is if they add some type of elevation pack offer within this store as well, so you can purchase it with stars. I definitely think there's going to be more opportunity to earn those. So let's talk about what they do now, show you how you use them and who the best players are to do so. I'm going to give you a live demo of how you would actually do it, but the catalog is really good to use to do research on this. So if we go over to our program filter under the catalog and select the Genki Force promo, you can look at any one of these cards, whether it's a champion, LTD, a hero. We're going to start with the heroes, which is the cards that you would use the low elevation pass on. And in my video where I went over the best 93 overalls to take, I think Mark Lewinsky is probably the best option because he's an offensive lineman. He's not a terrible card. He's not an amazing card, but for a free offensive lineman, most of you watching this video could probably benefit from a 93 overall right guard. So to see what this elevation pass would do without actually using it, if you go to the upgrade tab, you can kind of scroll over here and see the elevation one. This is where you would use that low elevation pass. And if you read it, it says add the Genki Force Hero player or elevation pass low to unlock more abilities. So you can actually put a 93 into this 93 to also unlock these abilities. You can do this without the pass, but to me, that just doesn't make too much sense there. So I would highly recommend to only sticking to the low and high elevation passes. If you want to go out and spend extra coins to buy another 93 to put into a 93 to unlock the ability bucket, do be my guest. Go ahead and do it. I just don't think it's smart. Um, but the low ele elevation pass on this Mark Glowinski, you can see what discounted abilities he gets. Now he's going to get Nasty Streak for 1 AP. That's probably the best option out of the three. Polar Elite for 1 AP. Lifeguard for 1 AP. Without that pass, you cannot unlock any of these abilities. So these aren't going to have a huge impact when it comes to the 93 overall hero cards. And specifically with this card, I wouldn't recommend wasting 1 AP on Nasty Streak unless you run the ball a ton. But I overall just wanted to show you, and we'll do a live demo again in a moment, that you can check for this information without even having any of these cards or the passes. Again, just by going over to catalog, going to the upgrade tab. Again, Leonard Fournette, if you add in the low pass to him or an additional 93 overall hero from this promo, these are the buckets it would unlock. So Bulldozer for 1 AP, Bruiser for 2 AP, Goal Line Back for 1 AP. Let's talk about the more important cards, the better cards, the cards that are going to get better discounted abilities. Rob Havenstein is probably one of my favorites right now. We don't know what we're going to get from part two, uh, but this can get really expensive. So you got to be careful here. Now it's an offensive lineman. His attributes are really good. At the end of the day, like I said with Glowinski here and any offensive lineman, typically you don't want to spend your coins on offensive linemen. It's just boring. You want to buy the flashy players, the cornerbacks, running backs, quarterbacks, etc. So to get a card like this, as your BND option out of that store pack is not a bad choice. Again, we don't know what's going to be coming out for part two, but if you take a look at this card, there's basically three different levels of elevation on here. So you can get two high elevation passes, one from completing that objective, one from getting it within the field pass. And if you wanted to use both of them on the same player, you can. To sum it up, this card basically has three different discounted ability buckets that you can use. But if you want to unlock all of them, it's going to get expensive because there's only two elevation passes on the high end and there's three slots here. So another way that you can actually do this is by adding in an additional champion. But if you don't know what I mean when I say that, that means another 96 overall would go into this 96 overall. So potentially you're looking at spending 500,000 coins to unlock a discounted ability bucket. There's no way, shape or form that that's worth it. So please do not do it. But if you use one of your elevation passes on this card, you're going to get the basically the third to last. Uh, ability bucket, discounted bucket, unlock. So it would be this one. And by using that pass, you would get fool me uh, once for zero AP. You would get secure protector for zero AP, which is really huge right now because those unstoppable force pass rushers that you're probably running into, whether it's like a Warren Sapp, George Karloftis, Reggie White, Justin Matabees from the AKA promo, secure protector is basically the counter for that. So to get him, 
at right tackle with good attributes and get zero AP secure protector, this is almost an end game right tackle and you only need one elevation pass to get to this step. Now, if you took a look at these discounted abilities, you wanted post up for one AP or natural talent for one AP, you actually have to use two elevation passes. And these abilities at this discount are just simply not worth it to me. And in the very last bucket to unlock this, you would need three elevation passes, which isn't even possible right now. So really you would need two high elevation passes plus an additional 96 overall and look what it unlocks threat detector for 2 ap good discount but it's not really worth all that and linchpin for 0 ap probably is good because it's supposed to impact your entire offensive line but we're talking about like the equivalent of almost 1.5 million to get to this step to be able to unlock this ability it's not worth it now one other thing that these elevation passes can do is unlock additional x factor so havenstein being an offensive lineman isn't really going to get that ability but if you take a look at kevin byard here he's going to get on the third elevation pass there's well there's three different tiers but if you go to his x factor section here you can see there's universal coverage elevated one two and three and then the same thing for reinforcement in both of these x factor are really really good you would have them activated for i think the entire game here and they also cost zero ap so you could see why these cards would be extremely beneficial now i'll be honest i don't really know the difference between the one two and three here if they work better if they stay on or off longer at the same time it could just be the various options but along with the x factors there he also gets those three additional discounted buckets so in the third or second to last you know what i mean right the first pass that you would use would unlock this which is going to give you pick artist for zero medium route ko for one or deep out zone ko for two if you go two elevation passes on him you now also can get bench press for one or deep in zone ko for one ap and if you want to go all out and use three passes which again is not possible you can do two high passes right now plus another 96 he would get that deep zone ko for two ap which is a really good ability but it's not worth 1.5 million not when you can go out and get a ronnie lock card who can get this uh get this ability at the same ap cost and a much much cheaper rate out there uh, but that's basically what these elevation passes do now as far as the best players to use these on to me right now and hopefully the part two players give us some more options here dexter lawrence is really good because he actually can get that x factor unstoppable force activated so it's going to be similar to warren sap with the lighted up token uh derwin james is good because he's going to get reinforcement and also pick artists for zero ap but this card is not worth 1.5 million coins in my opinion the pass isn't really good for dk he's a good card but he just doesn't get the greatest abilities until you get to like the i think it's the third tier he would get short out elite for one ap and the other option is outside apprentice for zero ap but again three passes are possible two passes and another 96 r but that's just way too many coins for an ability that's not as good as it was last year so really it just comes down to like dexter lawrence and rob havenstein tremaine edmonds isn't bad because you can get lurk artist for zero ap if you use the elevation pass on him but i really want to see what we get from the part two players let's go ahead and close the video out and it's not like rocket science here but let's go ahead and show you how you're going to use these elevation passes so i'm going to go to the rob havenstein card we're going to go over to the upgrade tab here this is out of the catalog now and under my items we're going to have to spend that initial five training to go ahead and get past that first step and then you just go ahead and go to upgrade it's going to give you the option to select from the item manager you can see it would allow me if i want to to put a kevin byard in there but i'm going to go ahead and use the elevation pass high and now it unlocks that third to last i think that's what we've we've come up with here that third to last bucket and now i can go ahead and unlock for 2500 training secure protector on this card for zero ap if you change your mind you always have that refund option to go ahead and get the pass back to put in a new player like when part two cards come out and again if i wanted to this is a very stupid decision but we're going to be able to get that refund uh, i could put this kevin byard in here and now that's going to unlock the next step which now gives me access to natural talent or post up for one ap i don't want that that's not worth it at all so we're going to go ahead and go refund we now get kevin byard back and if we wanted to get our elevation token back here we can go refund again but i am going to use it on this card for now and that's everything you need to know about elevation tokens if you got any additional questions leave it down below in the comment section you know what i just tried to say there it's been a long video i'm out of here i'm popular stranger peace